Hi everyone, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to create uh, these nice looking uh, checkboxes over here. Uh, you can achieve this uh, effect or this look uh, purely by using CSS or CSS3. And uh, also you can see that I have some other components that I've created in this page. The first one is a step progress bar. You can always take a look at the other tutorials that I have in my channel in order to create these. And also there is this timeline, vertical timeline uh, notification panel. Please subscribe to my channel to get uh, more videos and to kind of support me creating these kind of videos. Uh, all right, so let's get started. So in order to define my checkbox element, I will put a div and give it a class of checkbox and within that I'm going to define my checkbox element which obviously is an input element and then the type will be checkbox I will give it a uh, ID of checkbox1 and the next element will be my label that is for checkbox1 alright now let's style these elements so that it gets the look that we want. First things first, for the checkbox class I'm going to give it a width of 30 pixel and height of 30 pixel as well. And then uh, I will put the background color to be a shade of gray, uh, kind of bright shade of gray. And then uh, I would like to hide my uh, checkbox here since we don't want to show it uh, I would do checkbox and then the input of type checkbox visibility to hidden so you can see that it no longer shows here now in order to create the actual element <coughs> uh, we need to style our uh, label here I will give it a width of maybe 28 pixel and height of 28 pixel as well uh, I will set the position to absolute uh, let's see how it looks so far it doesn't show anything uh, let me define the position on this guy to be relative and uh, I would like to uh, set the uh, top to one pixel and left to one pixel and give it a background color so that it gets visible to white so as you can see we kind of centered uh, our label element and style it and put it uh, over here in the center the next step is to actually create the tick mark or the check mark uh, how do we do that I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna define I'm gonna add a before element to my label put it a content none and then I would give it a uh, uh, width of 9 pixel and height of um, maybe 5 pixel and then I would give it a border of 3 pixel solid and then uh, I will give it a color let's say black which is 0 0 0 uh, the position is obviously absolute since we want it to be, we want to have control over the placement of it. You can see it looks something like this. Now we need to change this to look uh, like a check mark. For that, I'm going to remove the border top and also I would remove the border right. Uh, and it looks something like this. Now I need to only rotate this counterclockwise. 45 degrees so I will use the transform and rotate minus 45 degree this minus says counterclockwise and you can see that it looks now like a check mark now I need to only place this in the right place so let's give it a top of 8 pixel and then height of 8 pixel now you can see that oh sorry 
this should be left. Now you can see that it kind of centers itself here. Uh, the next thing that I want to add is the interactivity. So you know we need to be able to click on it and either you know uh, sort of uh, check it or uncheck it. So in order to do that, uh, first of all, I'm going to give an opacity to zero so that it doesn't show up as you can see because our element is not checked yet and then in order for that to be checked I would do checkbox label and then I would choose my input element which is a type checkbox and then obviously I want to be able to know if it's checked I want to change this guy label before so that the opacity gets to be 1 but we need to make sure that our selection is this one and the attribute is actually checked and then we say the next element which is sorry which is a label here and then before sorry because it's before we're gonna give it an opacity of one let's see how it looks now so if I click here you can see that the checkbox comes it's pretty cool right so I promise to show something like this so let's make it something like this so um, we need to make sure that when we check it the label element itself which is now white you know gets to be green so background color is gonna be uh, the same color as um, so I probably have uh, I have copied a color scheme over here so I'm gonna do like put the background color to this and then I need to make sure that my tick or the check mark color is white so if you take a look now it kinda looks the same as the checkbox that I've created on my website over here and uh, just to make sure that we ha we have a sense of interaction here, I will give uh, this label element the cursor of pointer. All right, cool. As you can see that we have our checkbox now. You can go ahead and create other uh, input types as well, right? like radio buttons or maybe sliders or whatever using the same technique. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please again subscribe uh, to this channel. It will take uh, less than a second. Uh, and I, I'm very happy that I'm doing this job uh, and sharing this knowledge. Please let me know uh, if you have any questions or comments underneath the comment section here, in the, in, underneath the video here in the comment section. And uh, I wish you a very good day. Bye.